so uh how old are you i'm 19. <laughs> howdy y'all uh we're in the valley of california and it's f***ing hot Anyways, in this video, we're going to be talking about the struggles of being focused and being consistent with studying Forex. Before we start, let me introduce you to my good friend and homie that put me on Forex, Mark, Marty Kins, big boy 69. Also want to say congrats to him because he recently got mother funded. <laughs> so yeah, congrats, dude. Nice man. Thanks, man. Like, can you tell me what kind of struggles you were having when you know st staying focused before you got funded like mm -hmm. when you were first starting out forex right so whenever i first started forex it was a big gamble for me it wasn't a consistency game it was how can i flip a dollar into a thousand dollars which pretty much is nearly impossible but once you become more consistent instead of doing a dollar into a hundred dollars you want to focus on a hundred dollars into $101 instead of going for that big percentage gain. You just want to go for the small consistent gains. Before, like you were saying that you were gambling, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, was there a certain thing that made you think like, all right, uh, I should change this mm -hmm. in order to be more focused? You know what I mean? Like right. when it came to your studying in order to get right. finally good enough to get funded. So as far as strategy wise, I kind of like went all over the place until I found a certain person that I was like, yo, this guy is legit. I'm going to message him and see if he wants to mentor me. And once he started to mentor me, I was able to back test his strategy and found out that it was actually consistent. And from that point on, I didn't really bounce, bounce around from strategy to strategy. I just stuck to that one strategy. Yeah. And that's when it kind of like, all right, click. All right. Now, now this is the real game, you know? Yeah. That, that, that's like. I think that was like probably like a really big thing for me mm -hmm. too, as far as you know finding. There's just so much information out there. There is there's right. just so much information out there. Like ba I mean, baby pips like it's cool, right. mm -hmm. but even they try to like in some sh way, shape, or form they try to like teach you little strategies. Right. Like unknown. I, they weren't forcing it down your mm -hmm. throat, but giving you ideas, and then you start hearing like other YouTuber like YouTube gurus and stuff like that. And then you just get over, yeah, it's just too many people are saying, I have the answer. Right, right. Yeah. And, and, it, and that's also one thing you have to do. You have to filter out who's fake and who's real. So you have to choose wisely. Yeah. Interesting enough, I actually made a video about that. You should check that out. Plug, plug. <laughs> plug, plug. I think uh, another thing that helped me out was like not going too hard. I remember when I was still studying uh, programming like uh, I would study like 12 hours a day mm -hmm. like and just do it like seven days a week mm, right and uh, I, w I would constantly find myself like how I did like before with Forex of just like going brain dead and I'm just looking at a chart like mm -hmm. I know I need to do this I need to do this mm -hmm. but I can't because like I, I it just the urge is not there. Right. I don't know. It's just laziness kicks. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I, f I feel like it's like a sport or anything else where you put too much time into it and you burn yourself out. And you, after a while, you don't even want to have anything to do with it. You want to yeah. pace yourself. Yes, go hard, but also take your rest days on it, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, it's okay to sneak in a COD game in. You know, yeah. a quick, a quick little three matches. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It's good. <laughs> Get them gym sessions in too, man. Yeah, definitely. Don't be a fat bitch like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, I, I think it's cool too to squanch around a little bit. And what I mean by squanch is uh, like take a little, take a little mini trips, right. like get your mind completely right. off the subject. Mm. And then when you come back, it's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to do four X or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. it's uh, definitely a big thing to lay off the charts once in a while because especially if you're hitting that plateau or that wall and you need a little break from it, you taking that break could make you realize something else once you get back to the chart. You know, it's like whenever you have another person look at something else that you were having trouble on and they see something else, it's because they have a fresh mind. It's the same thing with Forex or uh, back testing. You want to take your eyes off of it and maybe when you come back, you'll see something di completely different that you haven't seen before. Yeah, so it's definitely a good break to um, good thing to, to take a break. Yeah, definitely. Breach. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
<laughs> I'm gonna cut this man's off. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, so now that you're funded, like, mm -hmm. are you excited for your next journey? Like, what's the next step for you? Right, so now I'm uh, quitting my nine to five job or my 10 to 10 job. Ooh, like I <laughs> did. <laughs> but he's actually yeah. funded. <laughs> so now I can go 100% into the um, trading game. And um, so now I have one funded account and you know, the the game plan is to max out the amount that I can do with a trading firm. And okay. yeah, hopefully I can do that in the next like three, four months. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like to pretty much leave off, I mean, what would you say is your biggest advice? Just do it! <laughs>uh, but for real though, my biggest advice would probably be don't give up. You know, I mean, you will see red days, you will see blue days, but you have to keep grinding. Like you see this on all motivational fucking things, man. They're going to tell you, don't give up. Once you give up, you already fucking lost. If you keep going, something's going to fucking click. Something's going to go. And that's when eventually you'll be profitable. You'll fucking get whatever fucking goal you try to achieve. Just don't give up. Cause I mean that I was close as fuck to giving up and then I finally hit the fucking wall and broke through the fucking wall and then now I'm like, now I'm fucking here, you know? So just don't give up. I'm offended that you said wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, fucking thanks Mark for yes, fucking have me on this or have me on this <laughs> You're on this thing. <laughs> and uh, Thanks, uh, like, share, subscribe, 69 boys out here. Money. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.